edition of the Morning Capital. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thankfully, Thursday edition, which is not as good as oh thank God it's Friday. <laughs> Well, yesterday was a busy day. Yes. Well, we missed you guys yeah, yesterday. We did. We did. Oh man, I tell you what, it was it was one of those days. Oh, yes. and for those of you that don't know, welcome to Paige Arizona's morning show, the Morning Cup. <laughs> yes. And the best part of waking up is Rupert on your cup. Yeah, if you I don't like know that. who Rupert is. That would be the uh, rocket-propelled turtle in the intro you just saw. Uh, yes. This is not a news program. This is an entertainment show. So. Hence the warning above. <laughs> <laughs> morning, David, this show is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> and David is saying good morning, y'all. Good morning, good morning David. <laughs> good to see you. All you guys, thanks for joining us. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing on all of these videos. And uh, oh, Michael, Michael says good morning, Paige. Good, good morning, morning, Michael. Good to see you. <laughs> Jerry says good morning. I have had morning cup withdrawal. Oh, good no. morning, Jerry. <laughs> well, I'm glad we can get you your fix. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's a good thing these uh, <coughs> all these videos are <coughs> permanently out there. Uh, yes, so if you, you if can, you wanted your uh, fix, yeah. you could watch previous episodes yes. that you have missed before. Because I know you have not seen them all. <laughs> Just saying. Well, there, there's no guarantee because there are people who do binge. Yeah, but we've got an, <laughs> we've got enough where there is no way he could binge in a day. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, he may binge. On, you know, we may have viewers that binge on the weekends. It's possible, but we're talking like a year of five days a week of hour-long shows, man. I'm just saying, that's a lot of stuff. That is. Heather wow. says, good morning. Good morning, Good Heather. morning, Heather. That, wow. A year and a half worth of stuff? Yeah, something like that. We'd have to look, but I think there's over 300 hours of good of morning cup out there. So Wow. Just saying. And that's that, just that's the morning cup. That does that's not include special reports, weird stuff, the nightly news, <laughs> city council meetings. <laughs> just saying. I we like, got a lot of crap out there. I, I, I like how you put it. Put weird stuff. Yeah, weird stuff. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get when you go digging through the bowels of our video repository. So, are you saying that that is a box of chocolates? No. <laughs> or like a box of chocolates? Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. I, I, I give it to you. I give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Mary's saying good morning. Good, good morning, morning, Mary. Good to see ya. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, yesterday, everybody missed us because there was no morning cup and no nightly news no. because... We were out there actually working for a living. Uh, yeah, we were. <laughs> yeah, technically, this is work for a living as well because we have to wake up early and, and try and become coherent and come up with what to talk about with you guys every day. <laughs> Which isn't very hard, actually. Well, Most some days, days. It, I, I don't know. <laughs> I am very antisocial and grumpy as hell first thing in the morning. So be well, cheerful for everybody out there. I, yeah, it's not is, easy. But if I can do it, that, that means you can do it and make your day amazing. Yes, just most it. definitely. Yeah. It, it, it's a mindset. <laughs> Steven says, good morning. Good, good morning, morning, Steven. Good to see you. <laughs> so, yeah, um... Yesterday we had uh, we we covered the state of the city address, which is Page Arizona's first state of the city address. Yes. So that that was that was interesting. It was it was it was very good. Yeah, I'm I'm sure you enjoyed it. I I, I you know. Uh, well, you were filming. I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> she I got to working. go out and have breakfast and mingle and do all kinds of stuff <laughs> while I was getting everything set up so that people <laughs> could watch. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, you know, it was interesting. It was, uh, you know, I mean, the first ever state of the city address. Uh, yeah. Was kind of a big deal. Yeah, kind of big yeah. Deal. It, it was good. It, it really was good. Mm. I, I'm excited to see what we can do in a year. Um, and by we, we, we what, uh, the city. Oh. <laughs> yes, for those of the you city didn't. and the community actually, because that that's. That was a big one um, yesterday was, was getting the community involved. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, for those of you that didn't know, our lovely Lois is on the city council as it, well. Yes. So when she says we, it is not the royal crazy we. <laughs> uh, well, you know, there are days. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, is this is true. This is true. Excuse me. Oh, man, we just got a whole bunch oh, of we stuff did, going we on did. over here. Let's see, Anne's giving us the way. Hi, Anne. Good to see you. <laughs> Jerry says, uh, Chris was talking about liking fruitcake the other day. I need to bring some from the monks here in Kentucky. They put good Kentucky bourbon in oh, it. Wow. And it is the bomb. <laughs> I like where you're going there. 
Ed says, uh, Levi looked a little nervous. Uh, yes, yes. Um, and when you're talking to a room full of people, you'd be nervous. And it too. was a full freaking house. I was very impressed. Uh, so was I. So very was nice. I. So, um, you know, I, I do feel for, for Levi because, I mean, yeah, doing that is, is nerve-wracking. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really is. And believe me, and, we would know because we're here talking to you. And see, and and for me, this is easier. Well, yeah, because you don't got people going. No, hold on, hold on. <laughs> well, that would be it. Well, you at know, least that it, you can't see, it, it, right? <laughs> um, but for me, this is easier than sitting up on the dais and oh. and, and speaking. And even up there, I'm just like. <laughs> I'm so freaking nervous. Although some nights, you know, the only person in the audience is me broadcasting it for and, everybody and else. And I'm so. still nervous, <laughs> which is kind of funny. <laughs> so, so I, I, I did, um, <coughs> and I do feel for him in that capacity. Yeah. You know, it just it is nerve wracking. Public speaking is not easy. Uh, uh-uh. no. And I've been through a couple of public speaking classes. Shows you and, how useful those are. Uh, not really, no. Yeah. Uh, the only reason that they are are useful is because it gives you the foundation to be able to um, write properly for speeches. Oh, okay. but being able to actually speak in front of people, mm-mm, not so much. And if you're <laughs> <laughs> and and for someone like me, I I get really bad stage fright. And, I, I've and, seen and, it. I've heard it. And, it. It makes me chuckle. <laughs> and and my my first if if you guys don't know and I know we've talked about this at least once before my first experience with stage fright I ended up blacking out <laughs> so every so, time I wait for it I'm like eh, yeah pretty much like, are we gonna catch this live <laughs> like, Come on. I think I've gotten better over the years well, but but it's still there um, I'm I'm not at that of the blacking out level anymore, <laughs> but you can hear it in my voice if if you know what to listen for. That quaver. And, uh, yeah, yeah, and um, and there was one where uh, I I was speaking to the council. This was before I was sworn in. Oh yeah, I, I was that. speaking to the council, and I was so nervous. I would my abs were were um, yeah they were big time, and it just it freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> so and we've got a couple more comments. Oh, all right, all right. Um so yeah, I I definitely do feel for him. Jerry says uh, my teeth were chattering for him. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. And Ed says uh, he did well though. He stopped yes. to catch his breath and collect his thoughts. Yeah, yes. yeah, he sure did. And and one of the hardest things at least for me is remembering to breathe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got to consciously think about you that one. <laughs> you do. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, but yeah. So back to the back to the whole thing. That it was a it was jam packed in there. It was. There, was. there was people hanging off the rafters in there. Uh, pretty much, yeah. There was crazy, <laughs> and uh, apparently they were turning some people away at the door and stuff, which is why we were broadcasting it in mm-hmm. case you wanted to see it. And so far, over eleven hundred people have actually watched it. Nice. So uh, you know, I'd say that's Very a pretty nice. darn good turnout. Uh, that is. You know, you that had is. you had. What do you think? Maybe one or two hundred ish in there, uh, somewhere tops. in there. Yeah, and then you had eleven hundred people that actually watched it out in the town. So that's I mean, good. Hey, I'd say that's a pretty good. Turn. That is really and good. and the number keeps growing up because as people have time, then they watch uh, it. Yeah, so. yeah. Not everyone so. has that much time to sit there and watch a state of the city address. Uh, right, right. When they do, they watch it in their leisure. Uh huh. Pretty much. <laughs> Unless you're me, and then I was like, I was there. I'm recording. I'm doing this. I'm done. No <laughs> And 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 says. Um, that would be why you passed out, Lewis. Yep. <laughs> um, probably. I, I don't remember exactly what caused it, but... Yeah, I should um, just remember it goes... <laughs> I, actually, it was... I, I I didn't, you know, go backward, I oh, really? um, amazingly. I was sitting down. And, you passed uh, out sitting down? I did. Well, oh, that's impressive. <laughs> and, and it wasn't passing out. It was just I blacked out. And I could see, and it probably had to do with my blood pressure, um, now that I'm a lot older, um, (laughs) because this was uh, in high school, and (coughs) it was freshman year, and it was my very first piano recital, uh, because I, I took piano in high school, and... So I'm sitting there, I'm reading the notes, uh, the sheet music, and all of a sudden I see black. Oh, like a tunnel? Yep, and then it went completely dark. (laughs) Well, 
I guess at least you were sitting down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it could always be worse. It could, it could. <laughs> but what made it worse and, and more embarrassing was my back was to the audience. So you just went like, <laughs> burn. And, and no, no, I, I remember doing this and just everything went black. And I don't know how long everything was black. And then I came back online. It was like I had to reset. <laughs> Oh, man. So, uh, uh, yeah. Anne says, uh, I registered. I wonder how many people were last minute. Uh, there were some people that apparently didn't know you had to pre-register. Apparently, they're not uh, they're not a member of the network because we <laughs> talked about it during the nightly news for at least a week. So, uh, right, right. And, we try and, and get out the news. If you don't watch it, I can't really help you. And and for that one, you did have to register. They were turning you away from Yeah, because the they had free breakfast and all that stuff. So they had to have the exact number otherwise. And they could only go this high because there were so many seats and blah, blah, blah. Right. And all that stuff. So, But either way, if uh, if you were upset that you didn't know, watch the news. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're here for. We let you know what's going on in and around the page area. Yes, we do. So if you're ever curious as to, oh, I wonder if I have to register for this, or why is there a plume of smoke over here, or I heard there was something going on over there, watch the nightly news or breaking news reports, and you will find out. And if you want some cheap entertainment, that's what we're here for in the morning. Pretty much. <laughs> but either way, if you're not a member of the network, I can't help you out, man. <laughs> can't help you out. So it's your own fault. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Oh, my goodness. Morning, this show is free table for <laughs> But it's still true, right? <laughs> Just saying. Oh, <coughs> goodness gracious. So, yeah, that um, was it was pretty cool that uh, all this stuff was going on. David says uh, some of us watched it live, and after uh, and that, it, we watched it again live on tape. Uh, the yeah. internet doesn't have tape anymore, uh, David. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they no. did back in the day with oh, the no. old servers with the tape oh, drives. No. And all that. Oh, so, no. What? What? <laughs> I've just given you a hard time. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Well, I'm glad you were able to watch it there, David. That's awesome. <laughs> and and we have another comment oh. in there. Oh, my goodness. Lag time. I love it, guys. I know. And says, uh, breakfast was good, but those stupid coffee cups leaked uh, They lot. did. What? They did. How do you have they a did. leaky coffee cup? I, I honestly think that um, the, the cups that were provided for the coffee mm -hmm. weren't rated for the heat of the coffee. And was it like paper or something? Uh, yeah, it was. Was, oh, and I think okay. it melted whatever was the, the glue or whatever was holding it together. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, it, it was everybody's, everybody who had coffee, their their cups started leaking. Oh, that's funny. And um, I, I actually helped out one council person who was going around and talking to people. I noticed his coffee cup was leaking on the table. Oh. And so I put another cup over it. Ah, um, okay. And... By the time he came back to the table and I, I discussed it with him, the second cup was leaking. Holy hell! <laughs> so, uh, yeah. See, I didn't get coffee <laughs> and I didn't get breakfast because I was busy. Yeah. So, I, I wasn't there. At least I didn't have a leaky coffee so, cup. That so, was, there, were, there were manufacturer issues with with. I don't think cups. so. It was probably just ones not rated for coffee. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe they, they were, were wax paper cups. Uh, Those are the worst to put coffee in because oh. you get little chunks floating in it from the wax. Actually, no. They, no. they weren't. <laughs> was it that dry paper kind? I believe so. No, I was trying. I'm, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> oh Lord! Smell something burning. Yeah, that would be the fire in the, yeah. in the other end of no, the no. studio. <laughs> well, it's interesting. It's yeah, interesting. And so, uh, so out of the entire thing, I and and I mean, there's always going to be a hang up somewhere, mm -hmm. and and at times it tends to be more than one. Um, I, I think out of everything that could have gone wrong. That one was the least worrisome? That one, yeah. It, it just... Well, at least nobody got a, you know, a cup of coffee in their lap because the bottom fell out. Uh, that is true. I could always be mad. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> we don't need Although that. Although we could have caught it on film. <laughs> uh, uh, no. That was for David. <laughs> Put it on film. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Um, yesterday was very, very busy for us. Yeah, a little bit. You know... <laughs> That was another fun thing. So I've, I've been doing some stuff we'll be talking about at some point in the near future. But I've been in and out of City Hall a lot. <laughs> Mostly because of this knucklehead over here. Because apparently being a council member, you have to be involved with stuff and actually do things. And so she's at City Hall a lot. 
And since we have only one vehicle, because I sold my other vehicle to get what we're talking onto here, this little camera, <laughs> I get drug around and, and end up in City Hall a lot, and I gotta go sit in my little, they've got like a little waiting area. And I'm, what, are you okay over there, <laughs> And so I'm sitting in my little waiting area, you know, and I'll, I'll talk with the, the, the lovely receptionist that we have. And, and then, you know, we have city employees wandering back and forth saying hi. Ah! And they're getting quite used to seeing me uh, there at City Hall, biding my time, waiting for you to finish whatever uh, stuff is going on over there, <laughs> whatever witchcraft. And uh, well, one of the city employees came out yesterday. <laughs> And they're like, so, when are, you, when are you moving into your office? we got to find you a place. And I'm like, I don't know. But at this rate, I might as well have an office. Because I'm here, like, every day. And yesterday, we were there, like, four times. <laughs> we have got to get a second vehicle. I realize this. I realize this. It's ridiculous, um, man. It is, it is. Ridiculous. <laughs> but that's going to take some time. Yeah, I know. I know. More sponsors. More um, sponsors. So we've got more comments. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that what you were laughing at? No, I was laughing at you because what? one of the one of the comments I made to you because you had informed me of this conversation. I wasn't there. Yeah, I was no. you were uh, doing council stuff. Doing uh, stuff. Uh, well, I'm sitting there going, <laughs> and and I said, what? you oh, know, with as with as often as as we are here, we should just move in. Uh, <laughs> I know it's a little drafty in there. That's all I'm saying. A little drafty. Uh, let's see. Uh, scroll down a bit. I'm working on it, Lois. Uh, oh, okay. So that could a, be it, Anne. A bad um, batch of cups. Yeah, yeah. yeah, very well could be. And then uh, now we know to bring our own cups. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Tina says, uh, "I know. I think of LPNN a lot. When in my dream, the police were closing off a street I was on, and I was grabbing my phone to notify you." Oh, no, <laughs> Tina. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No. Nice. Oh. And Dave says uh, it sucks to have to sit and hold her purse, but you were a good first dude. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, and apparently the city employees like poking fun at me as well. So it's not just the morning cup where we have these issues. Apparently, everybody just likes messing with me, man. The guys are evil. So what does it mean since I don't hold, I don't carry a purse? I don't know. <laughs> Because normally I don't. Yeah, I know. I, I, I just, I don't like them. Yeah. Well, not only that, but you have a tendency to load them down and then you can't walk, or at least you're going like, can't it sideways. Going... Well, that's, that's a normal purse thing. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not out of the ordinary with that, yeah. amazingly. Ah, that all works. <laughs> I, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. It's, it's strange. Um, I just, <laughs> it's a lot of time. You know, I have other stuff to do. I could be watching paint dry. I'm just saying. What? <laughs> don't knock it till you try. Uh, don't no, knock it till you try. I, I don't want to. I don't want to. Thanks. So anyway, That's we were in and out of City Hall many times yesterday for all kinds of mysterious council business. <laughs> you guys are like a bunch of masons or something. Some kind of hoodoo stuff going on oh, over there. Lord. I don't know, man. <laughs> No. No? All right. No. Come on, man. The more we can visualize, the more fun it is. Yeah, not yet. No? Not yet. So, anyway, yeah, that, that was one of the things that we were doing yesterday. And then, uh, you know, there was the city council meeting. And I, I was looking at the agenda. And I was like, oh, my God. I'm going to be here until my brain falls out. <laughs> Because it looked like it was going to be really long. And it, well, it ended up being really long. And, uh, but yeah. not as long as it could have been. And this is true. But it was over two hours. So. It, it, it was. It was. It was over two hours. And that did not include the executive sessions. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, that was interesting. But we did have some cool people that showed up in Page mm -hmm. last night. We did. Yes, our little hamlet was graced by Miss Lena Fowler, the uh, Coconino County something supervisor. The Coconino County supervisor. No, no, there's another something in there that always messes me up. <laughs> there is. It's not just Coconino County supervisor. It's like Coconino County something supervisor. Uh, well, she's on the board of supervisors. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. <laughs> but whenever I read her whole title with name, I always mess it up in my head. And I'm like, what? what, what? <laughs> but anyway, she came in. And uh, that was actually pretty cool. Uh, apparently, Coconino County has uh, granted $50,000 for uh, uh, the project they're doing uh, on Grandview, the Grandview Knoll. And for those of you that don't know what the Grandview Knoll is, down all the way 
at the end of Glenview, next to uh, the castle down there, there was a big dirt lot. And uh, they've bulldozed that sucker, and they're turning it into a park <laughs> of of uh, uh, sorts. I I haven't even I haven't seen the plan. I took a picture. It was on the table. Good. Why Good. didn't you look? Because I was focused on council stuff. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, they're turning it into a park. The fifty thousand dollars is for like the shade structure, the concrete curbs, this and that, and blah blah blah. <laughs> but either way, Coconino County has uh, granted us fifty thousand dollars to complete said project. So uh, that's, that's kind of cool. It is. It is. It is very fun. I look forward to seeing how that turns out because forever it's just been a dirt lot and then, you know, like people throw beer bottles and stuff off of the edge and just kind of get, it's always been, it's a great spot. It's absolutely gorgeous to like go out there and just take in the view because you've got the lake, you've got the mesas, when storms roll through, you got Navajo Mountain over here. You've got the castle right there, <laughs> and all this cool stuff is going on, but it's always just kind of a, it's like a dirt lot. So it'll be cool to see exactly it, what they turn it into. It will be. It will be. It'll be much better than just a bunch of, you know, dirt and potholes. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. <laughs> so, all right, uh, weren't the potholes rocks? Well, there was rocks, but there's, I mean, you know, it's that hard-packed dirt that oh, had okay. holes in it, like driving in, like, <laughs> like, get out and lock the hubs, man, we're going around. <laughs> So anyway, that was cool. That's what she came up here for. She she presented us with uh, you know uh, one of those big checks, uh-huh. uh, which is kind of cool. You know, fifty thousand really dollars. Cool. I want one of those checks. Where's mine? <laughs> Not yet. If you're sir. watching, Lena, I want me a check. <laughs> We're going to show us three purposes only, but I'll still take it. I will still take. It. Although I don't think that particular check was legal tender. I I can. I think it was that. representative <laughs> of you know if you actually took the giant cardboard check into the bank. I don't think they let you get it. I was going to say, I I was gonna say she may just, you know, pr- print out a huge check and say, here you go. But, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just Not a legal theory. tender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, you know what? They'd be my life. She's like, yeah, sure. Here's a million dollars. I'm like, woo. Go to the bank and they're like. <laughs> I'm like, come on. Come on. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, oh. was kind of neat. Um, <coughs> and then, uh, let's see. Oh, oh, the other cool one. Um. Mr. Matt, uh, how do you pronounce his last name? Shavitz. Shavitz. Mr. Matt Shavitz, the CEO of Contour Airlines. Uh, he, he was actually here as well. Yes, he was. He flew in from New York City. I remember a commercial yeah, that, that's about what that. I was going with. <laughs> Who remembers that commercial? <laughs> Get a rope. <laughs> yep. But no, anyway, he, he, uh, the CEO of Contour Airlines, he came down and he was doing his uh, presentation and numbers and uh, letting us know how things were going. Mm-hmm. Apparently, things are going extremely well. Yes. Which is awesome. Their numbers are up all across the board compared to previous things that used to happen here in Page. And if you're from Page, you know what we're talking about. <laughs> <coughs> something about great mistakes or something. Anyway, um, compared to that, this is this place is rocking. So we've got Contour Airlines doing all kinds of things. They're talking about expanding flights and doing this yep. and doing that. And it's amazing. It is. It so, is. Yeah. It's pretty cool when you have the CEO of a company come down to little old page and uh, sit there and talk to you. It's like, oh, it is. So, and he's a really nice guy, too. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like him. You know, there's not very, you know, many people that when I first meet him, I like him right off the bat. Him, I did. And and, and I'm, I'm putting you on the spot here. Um, <laughs> what cracks Uh-oh. me up is one of the first things you noticed about him uh-huh. was his shoes. Yes. <laughs> Well, let me tell you, you know what? There is something to No, the reason that cracks me up is because most guys don't pay attention to that. Well, okay, so I have a little bit different training than your average person when it comes to that. You can tell a lot about a person based on their shoes. Yes, you can. And so, the, you know, when I, just like everything else, it's called situational awareness. You look at everything around you, you pick up the small details because you never know what that stuff might mean. <laughs> and so, yes, I did. And I, and I liked his shoes. His shoes were pretty cool. Yeah. But his shoes probably cost more than my house. So, <laughs> you know, CEO of New York, I mean, hey, just saying. But they were really cool. I liked them. They had yeah. these these cool, like, buckle things. I don't know. It was, it was very <laughs> steampunky. I was like, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I like that. <laughs> so anyway, it did. It, it cracked me up. Me I am. I am. It, it did. Um, because that te- that tends to be a, a stereotypical female thing, yeah. rather rather than a male thing, unless it is a male thing, and the guys just don't talk about it. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> 
But like I said, it, it comes from a, a lot of experience in life and some particular sets of skills that I that I happen to have. Wow. What? <laughs> I do have a particular set of skills. Yes, you do. I'm just saying. Anyway, and shoe shopping is not one of them. Just putting that out there. It's not what I meant. No, it's not shoe shopping. Uh, Gina says, cool. Yeah, it was pretty neat. Uh, Anne says, uh, heck, you can fly to Phoenix cheaper than you can drive. Yes. I know. Yes. Yeah, and that's it's, it's actually beautiful. pretty cool, man. Yeah, they have those and Super Saver Wednesdays, and every once in a while we fall into the category. It's like 29 bucks each it, way. Yeah, it is. It is. There's a no-brainer. And, and Although, he, I felt bad. What? He asked, he asked us, he's like, have you guys got to fly yet? And we're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, but I've been in your plane. I took pictures. I sat in one of the seats. <laughs> uh, the, the funny thing is, is neither one of us said, no, we haven't, but um, Mama Lois has. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Mama Lois came in. Mama Lois came in, and and, and she hated it. Uh, no, she didn't. Yes, she did. She wanted the great mistakes where it was no. like bam, 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 bam. No, she did not. She said it. She said she, she missed the turbulence because it helped beat her to sleep. Oh well, that. But I mean, <laughs> the overall experience where she had issues had nothing to do with the airline. I don't know. And, no, and no. Mama Lois is a very, very difficult woman to please when it comes to service. And and that says a lot about them. Yes, is, yes. we love your mother. But <laughs> yeah, when you think of Lewis. cantankerous old woman <laughs> that'll beat you with either an umbrella or her purse, <laughs> she is the epitome <laughs> of that. Do not step on the wrong side of that one because she's gonna mess you up. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Just um, but she is. She's very difficult to please when when it comes to customer service. She's very critical of it because she had been in it for so long. And sure, we'll use that as the excuse. <laughs> and well, she also used to audit customer service and stuff like that. So, um, and 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 her biggest beef were was the air, um, airport mm -hmm. was, was Sky Harbor. Oh yeah, well that's just, yeah. you know and, and, does and the that it. says a lot about Contour and the fact they were really helpful to her. They treated her really well, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was like. Wow, and both of us forgot to mention. Yeah, we did. Yeah. It's like the fact that she did not like tear you guys a new one. That's like a whole new level of compliment it right is. there. It really is. Like Mama Lois didn't hate you? Like you must be doing something right. Because she will find something wrong in everything and she will crack that sucker open and beat it to death. It's the typical Scorpio thing. Yeah, it's like her, her newest car. You know, we've talked about this before, but her newest car. She wants to return it to the dealer because it doesn't have a CD player because they don't put CD players in cars anymore. It's like, no, that's, none of them have that anymore. They've moved on. They have, they have audio input jacks. They got Bluetooth. They got USB. Say, I want my CD player. I'm returning that thing. Like, so, yeah, that's a whole but, other freaking story right there. <laughs> but um, we, for those of you who don't know about Mama Lois, um, because we do have a lot of new subscribers. Yes. Yeah. Excuse me. Lots. Um, <laughs> and um, we love Mama Lois oh, yeah. very much. And she's been on the show, what, once? Yeah, she was on the show, on the show That once. was a funny one. <laughs> and and um, She's so, like this tall man. <laughs> she is. Like, she, 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 what is it? Because she she's so short. She's 5'4", but she's 5'4 and like an eighth. And and she grabs onto that eighth. <laughs> yes, she has, man. Um, but I'm not 5'4", I'm 5'4 and an eighth. And don't you take that away from her because she'll hit you with her cane, man. I'm telling you. Um, but we do make fun of Mama Lois. She knows that we make fun oh, yeah. of her. And, and, um, because she has fun with it. She does, she does. And so after... After a morning show, mm -hmm. um, I will let her know, hey, you need to you watch go because on. we made fun of you. Um, <laughs> and and she cracks up about it. So it, it's, it's all, in all good fun. It is all in good fun. Yes, we love um, the Mama Lois. We do. We do. Um, but she's vicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> but you know she she is um she is your stereotypical <coughs> Scorpio. Yeah, see, you and, start and getting into your hocus pocus crap. She's a cantankerous old woman. <laughs> well, there, that is your stereotypical was... stereotypical Scorpio. What the hell does that even well, mean? Well, there there was a book that I read, and and one of these days I'm gonna get it again because I don't know what happened to it. Um, and it's called. Oh, heck, I can't even remember Dumb the name of it. Ways no, no, it's not okay. called that. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
so um, but it's all know. about the astrological signs. And one of the things... I remember maybe of a C.W. McCall song. Oh, good Lord, no. Oh, what? Uh, <laughs> one of the things with Scorpios <clears throat> is that they will get a hold of something mm-hmm. and chew it until the flavor is completely annihilated from it and keep chewing it. Oh, like you. <laughs> Are you a Scorpio? No, I'm not okay. a Scorpio. I'm an Aries, which means I have constant headaches from running into walls. Uh, <laughs> I could see that too. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll give it to you. Know, yeah. So, um, and she is. She, if if anything offends her, and Scorpios don't. Uh, typically, Scorpios do not forgive or forget, and they I'll give, will. Yep, all right, yeah. uh-huh, yep. <laughs> and they will just. Hold on to that for the rest of their There are days. more important things in life than stressing over that. I'm just saying, people. Uh, so, Dave says, uh, we do pay attention to shoes. We just don't go all gaga over them. He did, though. Well, not really. I didn't go gaga. I was just like, man, that was a nice pair of shoes. You were like, oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but they were like steampunky. They had buckles, man. They were so cute. And they weren't like normal ones. They were like cool ones. <laughs> Uh, which says, uh, Dave says, we do pay attention to shoes. We just don't get all, go all gaga over them. Ooh, honey, you are rocking those loafers. Where do I get a pair? Yeah, hey, hey, you just don't go up to the person that's yeah, wearing them. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, let's see. Excuse me. Gina says, Mama Lois is awesome. Yes, yes we love Mama is. Lois. Mama Lois is a lot of fun. And <laughs> Dave says, Mama Lois is adorable. She is until she cracks you upside the head with that cane. Yeah. I'll tell you what. And Renee says, good morning. Good Good morning, morning, Renee. Renee. Good to see you. (laughs) All you guys, thanks for joining us. And thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting on all these videos. (laughs) But yeah, we do like Mama Lois. Um, uh, But I am going to have to get that book again because... Oh, that, the, that's gonna the, be the astrological book. It is because you know, in all honesty, I'm I'm gonna summarize it uh, for each sign, and that'll end up being a morning show. Oh I can't read that book without laughing. Yeah, without having to have like an inhaler or an oxygen tank <laughs> 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 because I'm just losing too much oxygen. <laughs> I kind of like doing the morning show occasionally. Hey, yeah, pretty much. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Uh, Dave says, a fellow Scorpio. Oh, no. Oh, you know what? You have revealed too much. This explains a lot. <laughs> and Mary, uh, Mary says, hello, guys. Hello. Hi. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. It's Marie. Marie. Sorry. It's over there. It's small, man. I had that happen again recently where somebody came up and they knew who I was, but I didn't know who they were, and they expected me to know. You guys are little tiny discs. And, uh, you know, as an example, the little tiny disc for, for one of, for Renee, it looks like, is that like a sunset or, I can't even tell. <laughs> At this range, it's a little disc. I can't see what it is. And then there's another, I can't, I cannot see these pictures. Some people have their, there's one right there. Is that a dog? Yeah, there's one with a dog. That, that, yeah, that's Gina. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't, you know, I we love that you guys watch. We love running into fans. But I, I was talking about, I you said Mary, and it's I Marie. I know, but I'm just saying, there's a, there's a whole list of things with it. I can't pronounce them all. <laughs> I am not that good. But, and I also can't recognize people in these, so. It's difficult, because oh it's a little disc. Way over there. So we love running into fans, but that doesn't mean I necessarily know who you are. You have to tell me. Because <laughs> oh, I am most certainly not psychic. You, if you, I was, life would be way more interesting. <laughs> you know that show, What Women Want? Yeah, right there. <laughs> I love that movie. That was a good movie. That was. A good movie. That was. A good movie. That was. <laughs> I had a good time. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> you went so... Sideways. Yeah. Yeah, that's your fault. You, you, no, it's not. not oh, so, anyway, shh. And, and Renee says it's a sunrise. It is the, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> See, I can't even know. <laughs> It's way over there. Uh, <laughs> and Marie says, yes, it, it is Marie. Marie. All right. Sorry about that. I do apologize. And, and it's really funny because I have a cousin whose name is Marie. Uh-huh. And because of you, I keep pronouncing it Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Marie. We apologize. I apologize. I do apologize. And Gina says, yep, my fur girls. All yeah. right. It, it's the two puppies. Yep. <laughs> they are cute. I've got. I've been they getting are. to see them in person for a decade. Yeah, and and especially it, the little crazy ones. <laughs> and in escape mode. <laughs> yeah, we're not going. Anywhere. 
So anyway, back to the city council. Uh, so yeah, we had we had the, the CEO. Uh, you know, he came in. All kinds of good news. Nothing but good news. It was amazing. Yep. And uh, I, I didn't quite get. Are, are we doing anything different now? Do we know? Uh, we will be. Because I was busy on, doing all kinds of stuff, and I was like, huh? <laughs> we will be, but that's on, on Contour's end. Oh, okay. Um, all right. So, yeah. All right. So, things are going to be changing up, but for the better. So, yes. Keep yes. an eye out for that. <laughs> <sighs> Man, that's so that, yeah, okay. There was the city council. What else did we do yesterday? Um, We ran back and forth, too. <laughs> yeah. I get to, I get to like, plant roots in the city hall. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait, I forgot this. Oh, wait, start writing this crap down. <laughs> I'm telling you. It wasn't just that. It was oh. other things. Hi. Say what you want, man. Start keeping the schedule book and follow that damn thing. <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> and, and so, hold on. No. We've got more. Oh, we got more comments over here. Oh, no. <laughs> Renee says, uh, you still need glasses, Chris. No, I don't. Shut up. <laughs> I do not need glasses. And uh, Gina says, Hazel is crazy. Yes, yes she, she is. She's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, now that you say it, her eyes look like hazelnuts because she's got uh, that uh, very light brown. Uh, yeah, yeah. The little crazy eyes. Uh, Marie. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Says, you are so cute. <laughs> See, I messed it up again in my head first and I had to... <laughs> Autocorrect failed in my brain. My, my brain must be the phone base. I don't know. Actually, you know that, what, that would explain that, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it really would, especially I, the side winding. <laughs> I saw a meme this morning about smartphones, and it said, uh, "I'm not calling it a smartphone until I say, hey, smartphone, where are you?'" And it says, "Over here." Not calling it a smartphone. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Hey, that's actually oh, pretty good." Oh goodness! <laughs> yeah, when you lose your phone and you can't find it, it's like, oh, where is it? <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Or it should know that you lost it and turn itself off of silent so when you call it, <laughs> it actually, you know. It, it, it's yeah, huh? that would be nice. <laughs> of course, then you get into the whole problem with the over monitoring and, and, and that and the AI. Well, it, it, we're all going to die! Uh, aren't we already there? <laughs> no, we're all going to die? Uh, no, <laughs> where? No. The over monitoring no. and the AIs. <laughs> but that's another show. Yeah. Any, anytime you guys get paranoid about too much technology watching what you're doing, you're not paranoid enough. <laughs> Yeah, have no idea. Is. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, air there. gap that stuff, man. Carrie <laughs> <laughs> laughing. Hi, Carrie. Good to see you. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. So yeah, uh, that, that was fairly a uh, fairly interesting day. Yesterday. It was. It was a very busy and, and long, interesting. We got up. Yes. We got up early. We went to bed late. And then we woke up early today. And I go, okay, I'm done. <laughs> You are not done because yeah. I have something for the guys out there. Yes. Oh, we talked about yes. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. So before and, we and, get on, and we... you were talking about what women want. What women want? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, if we had a, a what men want. What men want? Yes. <laughs> so uh, you know we were talking about this yesterday, and I have to give it kind of an intro. Before you do, oh, Jesus, we have what? A... <laughs> It's like the third time you've interrupted my intro. This know. better be good. I know. We have a couple of comments. Oh, all right. Carrie so says, good morning, y'all. Oh, good, good morning, Carrie. Good to see you. And Gina says, uh, there's an app for that. There's yeah. an app for everything. And Marie says, you got it, Chris. I did. Because I looked up and I saw Mary again. I'm sorry. I apologize. And then she said Marie. And I was like, oh, there it is. It'll, have, it, it'll get autocorrected eventually. And, and Renee's got another one. <laughs> uh, Renee says, uh, we missed you. Glad you are here to help us wake up with a smile. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we're glad we're back as well. Yes, yes. I, I did miss the morning show yesterday. Oh, did you? I did. It's so cute. <laughs> so cute. But I'm glad we did because I found this last night. Yes, this is yeah. This is amazing. All right, now can now can I do it? Yes. <laughs> Jeez, man, such interruptions. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, uh, <laughs> anyway, you got to remember. You need I, <laughs> You got to remember. I know where yeah. your your tickle spots are. I don't have tickle spots no. because I'm not ticklish. I have no feelings. You are so Shh. full Stop of it. You're letting people know stuff. <laughs> uh, Dave uh, says, uh, to quote a great philosopher oh no. of our time, oh Jeff no. Foxworthy, what men want is a beer. I'm to see something naked. <laughs> yep. 
and, like a beer. No, and, no, and what right. Chris is getting ready to introduce. Yes, because <laughs> this actually goes, so you were on talking about Foxworthy. This goes with uh, Bill Ingvall, because he actually had a similar idea, but this is like right on par with that. <laughs> So this is like. Do you have a link for this? Uh, yes, I do. All right. You gotta. You gotta bring it up. All right. We're, okay. Give so me the link. Down give the me products. Products. <laughs> Animal and products. Perfect right. for some this Valentine's Day. Ah. Or yes. whenever. Or whenever. Just yeah. Saying. Yeah. I'll give you that. <laughs> All right. So she came across this and showed it to me, and I was like, "No way! This is like the coolest thing ever." Maybe. Is this, oh, oh, there it is. Man, now I'm opening two. <laughs> Stupid leg. Ah. All right. <laughs> And I've got to, We're gonna to have to pull this up over on the side here because yes. it is amazing. It is. It is. All right, I'm gonna pull over this so you guys can see it here, and uh, see if we can guess what on earth is that thing. And Mario's saying hello. Hi, Hi Mario. <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. You're looking at that going, what the bleepity blup is that? <laughs> this is a new invention by a company that is apparently quite innovative. <laughs> I gotta give them some props because this is hilarious. Do you want me to name the name of the com give the name of the company? Oh, okay. It's Manly Man. <laughs> the name it's of the, the company Manly is Man Company. The Manly Man <laughs> Company. Does that give you an idea of what this might possibly be? <laughs> now I, I there's it actually says in here somewhere, but I'm just gonna say it because they have this title. But I'm going to call it what the other one, because it's more epic. Yeah, it is. It this is. is a brocade. <laughs> like a bouquet, but for men. <laughs> that right there, guys. That oh, right there. We have a bunch of... Yeah. You asked oh, people I did. to guess. Hi. You're just in Wow. <laughs> All right, I see. Uh, Mario says, hello. Uh, Jerry says, is it jerky? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Kimber says, beef sticks. Yeah, it's that too. <laughs> Renee says bacon roses close, not but not quite. Epic. Not that epic. <laughs> Mario says uh, flower beef jerky. <laughs> Yum. And then uh, LOL. I saw those. Those are awesome. And Marie says jerky flowers. Yes. Yes. And uh, yes, Michael says beef jerky. Yeah, you guys are all right. It's a brocade. They are meat sticks with meat flower heads on them. It's a brocade. And like, let me let me listen let me listen to or let me let me say this listen here. To this. Yeah, you shh. Stop interrupting the whole... I think this is more epic than than your keg of ranch. <laughs> yes, this is way more epic than a keg of ranch. It says, if looking for a gift for that special man in your life, you can't go wrong with 100% edible man bouquets made with beef jerky. They are delivered in a stylish black box that we spent countless hours designing for maximum protection during shipping and an equally impressive presentation. Now, I know what one you were looking for, the description of what you were looking for. So, transition out. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Come on, where is, right, it? where is it? Click on the one without the handle. This one? Yes. Yeah, they come. Oh, by the way, they come with you know, beer steins, glasses, tumblers uh, uh, yeah. for the vase. Uh -huh. Is it this one? Yes, it is. All right. Here's the next description for you. <laughs> Manly Man Beef Jerky Flower Bouquets are 100% edible and truly are made for that rugged, one-of-a-kind, hammer-swinging, IPA-drinking, duck-hunting, beast-of-a-man animal you call yours. <laughs> Each brocade comes fit for a manly man in a manly man pint glass. The brocade is prearranged, sealed, and packaged fresh in a stylish printed box. Our custom package design allows the bouquet to come fully assembled and equal, easily slides out, making it the ultimate gift experience. <laughs> and it says here, flour is made with 100% beef. Stem sections are made from a mouth-watering blend of beef, Pork and spices. <laughs> so you reminded me of the whole uh, Bill Ingvall thing where he wanted to take a Slim Jim and turn it into a straw so you could drink beer yeah. for it. <laughs> so, I mean, come it's on. edible flowers, man. Yeah, edible beef jerky flowers. <laughs> we it's got, amazing. We've got comments up there. <laughs> uh, Michael says yummy. Yeah. Yes, yeah. definitely. <laughs> Dave says, I got a bouquet of bacon roses last Valentine's nice. Day. My wife won at the love that day. Yeah, that yeah, sounds uh -huh. amazing. Yeah. And Marie says, special gift for a vegan. Oh, I like where you went there. 
<laughs> Although these are a little pricey to be throwing away unless you're going to be recording it. So. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. <coughs> that is epic. Yeah, this is, this is hilarious. Yeah, it is. It is. And I love the fact that they call them brocades. Yeah, it's a brocade. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Although, you know, I'm sure somewhere, somewhere, somehow, some snowflake is screaming in agony, which brings me so much joy. Oh my. But, you know, they're, they're going to get... <laughs> oh, my goodness. <sighs> So, so when, when I was looking at this yesterday, yes. scroll up a bit, I oh, want to, I want to okay. see, um, uh, go to, they come in different flavors ah, actually. Yes. So click on the flavors, um, go to original. Okay. Um, because yesterday, okay. They're still sold out. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, the only one out of the flower bouquet mm -hmm. that was available the was bouquet. teriyaki. Teriyaki. Was teriyaki flavor. All the other, flavors, all are the other flavors are sold out. <laughs> and, and, and these aren't cheap like, either. Wow. This one that we're looking at is the original beef jerky flower bouquet. Is a half a dozen of them. It's forty nine bucks. Yeah, yeah, and a full dozen for this. I think. Um, go to the full. No, oh, yeah. There's a half yeah. dozen, and then a full a dozen. Full dozen is, is sixty nine bucks. <laughs> so. It's a little on the pricey side, but it's right. pretty cool. But you can get them in different in different containers. Like one of them is a a, a yeah, glass got, stein. Yeah, I was gonna say they've got the pint glass, they've got a beer stein, they've got a tumbler. Right, right. So uh, yeah, it just it, it's beautiful, <laughs> and and they have different flowers. Oh yeah, they, they yeah, even got, have roses. Yeah, they've got rose shaped <laughs> ones too. It's amazing. Can you imagine how long it, it take to Oh, we got a film bunch. That? Oh, I I don't mm -mm. no. And and I know Mario says uh, how much are they? We just cover that yeah, one. Yeah. And Ann says, uh, did I miss anything good? I had to drop Lily off at the vet. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> Carrie you'll have says, to watch. One of my clients told me oh, he didn't eat bacon, jokingly. I told him I couldn't work for him no more. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> no kidding. And uh, Jerry says, is one flavor Chipotle? If so, I'm all over it. Um, They don't have that. It's hot. Yeah, they have original they... teriyaki hot and mixed. Uh, right. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know what the hot is. I don't know. Um, Is it like so, jalapeno? Uh, uh, um, but uh, so yeah, that, so you could go to go to sh <laughs> uh, shop. Um, and then uh, uh, Gina, Gina says, says I, I like teriyaki. teriyaki. Well, that's the only one they got left. Yeah, so you're in luck. <laughs> See, even women can have the brocade. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so go to shop real quick. This one? Um, yeah. <laughs> so they have different things. And oh you, my God! Oh, no way! Uh oh. So they've got all kinds of different things. I'm sorry, i got to interrupt you because this just jumped out at me. For Christmas gifts, they have tactical Christmas stockings. <laughs> I can't click on that because I didn't see that last night. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it just like jumped out. Tactical Christmas stockings? What? Come on, load. No, oh. <laughs> I want my picture. Oh, my God. That is amazing. I'm surprised they don't come stuffed with turkey. <laughs> I always think with magazines filled with ammo, but all right. <laughs> no, you got to be careful with that. Jerky would be better. Yeah, well. And it's safer. All right, there we go. That is the tactical Christmas stocking. How cool is that? Look at that. The Manly Band Company has won a lot of points with me with just that right there. Tactical Christmas stocking. Uh, that is she, amazing. And, and Anne says, I could live off bacon alone. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you could. And, and, uh, Marty, she, she, uh, yeah, and she's asking, what website is that? It's manlymanco.com. <laughs> this place is amazing. And Renee's asking what's in them. Apparently, they don't come st uh, stuffed with stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? I got to read this. I got to read this. Oh, no. Here is the description for you guys. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. This I... year. <laughs> shh, shh, just let it happen, Lois. Let it happen. <laughs> this year. And obviously, it's too late. So, for next year, be aware oh. that this place exists. Oh. This year, burn those pansy tube sock stockings Grandma gave him and get him a stocking as rugged as him. Made out of military-grade nylon, this tactical Molly stocking is sure to please. Doubles as a tactical magazine drop pouch. Each stocking is ready to be customized with any of your certified manly stocking stuffers. Sold separately. I want to see what the stocking stuffers are now. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is just getting better and better. 
Oh, oh, oh. my goodness. So Anna's saying, oh, my goodness, so cool. <laughs> and Mario's saying, cool. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, there's your stocking stuffers. Uh, oh, yep, stocking <laughs> yeah. stuffer. All right, well, let's see what we got for stocking stuffers. Oh, they even have grooming. They have what? Grooming. Grooming. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not touching that I one. think we may be continuing this tomorrow. Yeah, this could, this could be one of those. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Oh, oh no. Yes. No. Oh, I'm putting, <laughs> well, I can't put it on the screen, but I'm going to say <laughs> This is Duke Cannon, big bleep lump of coal. I'll let you figure out what that is. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, my God. There's another one next to that. This is from Duke Cannon. It's a big bleep brick of beer soap on a rope. Beer soap on a rope. <laughs> and it's it's big bleep. It's a three-letter word. I'll let you figure it out. <laughs> Wow! Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> and then uh, there's another. It's a big brick of manly beer soap, and it's a big bleeping brick of. Uh, oh my! Are you serious? Solid cologne, bourbon scent. <laughs> I think you might get. You might uh, get yeah, you may get. Uh... <laughs> oh my god! Oh, god. oh no! Oh, no. Look, oh look, no! Look what I see! <laughs> oh, you guys gotta see this! <laughs> oh, this just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> Come on, come on. Hold on, I gotta adjust it so you guys can see this. Give me just a second. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. This is freaking hilarious, guys. Oh my. Hold on, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Chop, chop. There we go. All right, there we go. They've got the man card. It says underneath the official man card beer bottle opener. Man. Oh, oh we, we've got coming. We definitely, <laughs> we definitely need to continue this tomorrow. Oh, and said that one. Oh, okay, all right. What that. website? Um, um, keep going, keep going. I'm there gonna, you go. Oh, Carrie says uh, I totally thought of you last night when I saw a Hidden Valley commercial <laughs> where the lady was going through airport security with a bottle of ranch. They told her she couldn't take it with her, so she turns up the bottle and chugs it. <laughs> Oh, my oh, goodness. I hilarious. can see you doing that. Nah. That's a little too far. Ed says, uh, I'm thinking more like in the line of a shot glass, 12-year-old bourbon, box of shells, raccoon hat, and a deer permit. I, I like, like it. Deer or elk. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> And uh, Michael <laughs> Lavin. Oh, my goodness. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's funny. <laughs> I was gonna quit. So the solid cologne is hilarious, being bourbon flavored. Uh, yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll go into that one tomorrow. I'm just looking for. <laughs> oh no! Oh my goodness! They got oh. beard oil. Uh, oh my goodness! Oh my! Oh, this is so. Here's another soap. This is another soap. It's a big bleeping brick of manly soap. Smells like victory in quotes. That. <laughs> Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. That is hilarious. Look at that one. Bloody Knuckles hand repair balm. <laughs> These guys are geniuses, oh man. Oh my goodness. Genius. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. I'm looking. Oh, they've got another big bleeping brick of manly soap. Campfire scent. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, okay, so we're gonna have to come up with the whole thing of these and come we through. Are. We will do they've got oh my they they've got cannon balm. It's tactical lip balm protected. <laughs> oh <coughs> for whiskey dam. Yeah, well, I, I wasn't going into that. I was oh, saving that for a moment. Sorry, so, sorry. Anyway. Ah. Alright guys, that is all we have time for today. I got just, just, <laughs> You gotta check out this site. Well, don't though, because we'll go over it tomorrow. But maybe you can go there and find your favorite. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Uh, this yeah. is manlymanco.com. Yes, yes. So uh, check that out. It's got some hilarious oh, stuff. Oh, my goodness. And Marie says, genius. <laughs> you know, it's, great. it's great. Oh, so, I, I think I know what I'm getting you for, for um, your birthday and, and Christmas this year. <laughs> all right, guys. That is all we have time for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing on all of these posts. We really do appreciate it. Yes. Thanks for being a part of the network. Be safe. Have an epic day out there. And we will catch you on the next one. Darn Skippy. All right. <laughs> Who's ready for some rumors? I am. Rumors. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>